everyone has a white whale. Uh, the one that got away. It's not a painful feeling exactly, not like a full-blown regret. It's more like an itch. Something that keeps coming back to bug you, but always just out of reach. When you're a journalist, it's usually a story. Sometimes, though, for whatever reason, one of them just lodges itself in the brain. This is mine. This is my white whale. This is the one that's been itching my brain for nearly a decade now. It's December 7th, 2014, around 1am, the night of the attack. All of a sudden this chemical bomb went off or something and then everyone was out here and everyone was getting thrown in ambulances the next minute and I woke up in a hospital. You're telling me that there was a terrorist attack in 2014 involving the use of chemical weapons in a fucking hotel but nobody heard about it. Investigators believe it was created intentionally and are treating it as a criminal matter. Someone with a grievance obviously had a bone to pick with the people running that convention. Wanted to make a statement. There was so many furries. Terrorists who were specifically targeting furries. This is some some troll who, you know, wants to cause chaos. <laughs> yeah, you have to read this story. Many still dressed in their furry, furry <laughs> costumes. Sent 19 people to the hospital and nobody was ever arrested. Far too many people were eager to assume that it was some sort of hate attack. I've gone through all the theories. I think there's only one that fits. But even if you can prove that chlorine was somewhere, does that mean it was a weapon? The expectation of that being solved, my, as a professional person, is like slim to none. What we'll be very excited to discover is that that suspect was not our main suspect. It was someone different. What? From Brazen, this is Fur and Loathing. I'm Nicky Wolfe.